Hi, in this video we'll see how to measure light intensity using LDR. So here uh, I have the LDR sensor that is comes with uh, Seed Studio uh, starter kit for Arduino. So here you can see that I'm going to connect this to a Lotus kit. I've connected the LDR sensor to the A0 pin of Lotus kit. Here you can see that I connected this sensor to the A0 pin. Already I have connected a LED to the digital pin 3 of the Lotus kit. Let's say how to read the light intensity using this sensor. Profiles, new AI. And then go to structures, pick a while loop, go to maker hub, go to links and pick initialize and close. So once it's done, go to sensors and then generic where you can see a photo cell here. Pick the photo cell, place it. Connect the links resources. And then this to control. And the AI channel that I have connected here is 0. So here I am going to con create indicator so the value will be given from 0 to 100 so i'm going to create a serial port control so complete everything let's move on to control panel and make it something different with the silver button available here go to silver and i can use a so vertical tank can go the vertical progress here, place it here, scale it to 100, so it's already uh, 100. I'm going to connect this to the vertical progress part to the sensor output. So everything is connected and the program is over on to this and one more thing that we have to need to do is to connect the Lotus kit to the system so I connected it so just now I connected it so here our LDR that is placed here I'm going to choose a port that has connected to the Lotus kit and run the program so here in the progress bar you can see that the value of the light intensity in my room is of 48 to 47 in the progress bar you can see here and I also have a light lamp with me I'm going to light up the L DR. So here you can see the progress bar is the maximum value that is reading here is 76. So you can see. Okay, so let's uh, do some application with this uh, sensor. I'm going to stop this program here. Go to block diagram and what I'm going to do is so light up my <coughs> sensor uh, sorry well, uh, to light my LED that is connected to the uh, digital pin 3 I'm going to write that LED to high
so here the channel is 3 so here I'm going to give a condition that uh, I'm going to use a comparison table if it is less than the fixed value here the value that in the current room is getting is 40 plus I'm going to fix this as 45 uh, or 40 okay so whenever uh, this value is lesser than that my LED will turn on so this is the conditional operator here so I'm going to window show front panel and we can also indicate uh, here create a indicator also or make it as readable so I'm going to clean up the diagram so here it will become a clean show the front panel and I'm going to run this program so the program has started though so here you can see that the value is uh, oscillating between 47 to 48 so my condition is that the value should comes down below 45 so that my LED can turn on I'm going to place so here you can see the progress if I close this LDR the value comes down to 45 that is below 45 so the LED has turned on here as well as in the front panel you can see a green LED that we have connected as an indicator button it is also turning off so whenever I place and stop the light the LED goes on you can see so let's change the condition to a greater than sign and instead of this one we'll replace that with greater than sign so here if it is above or it's already in fifth we'll go for 50 if it's above 50 the LED should go on so this is a condition here Let's see how this works. I'm going to run this program now. Here you can see the condition is uh, 46, but our condition is to it should greater than 50 so that our LED can go on. I'm going to use my lighter to light it up. So here you can see that the value has moved up to 50 so that my LED is turned on so that's it about this example I will catch you up with the next example until then please subscribe to this channel for more videos thank you